Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. We're looking today, did they really call Jesus demon-possessed in the Bible? I mean, were people that blind that they couldn't see God in flesh, that they actually got God confused with the devil? Let's look. John 7, 20. Among many scriptures, we're going to look at every scripture, but we're going to look at a few, mostly in John today. It says, the people answered and said, thou hast a devil. They're talking about Jesus. Who goeth about to kill thee? So, they said Jesus had a devil. Now remember, Jesus said, you know, if they've called the master of the house Beelzebub, they're going to call you. I mean, so people are going to say that all kinds of bad things about you, but that's not the only instance. Let's go over here. I've got my blue letter Bible uh, pulled up here. Uh, 848 of John. It says this on the subject of did they think Jesus had a devil. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil? <laughs> You're talking about somebody blind. So, you know, you're Pentecostal, you get the Holy Ghost, you speak in tongues, and people say you've got a devil. Well, you're in good company, because they said Jesus had a devil too. If they could miss Jesus, and this was the religious leaders of the day, who was it R.A. Torrey said about the um, Pentecostal movement, it was, or Azusa Street, it was the last vomit of Satan or something. He missed it. All right. So let's keep going. 1020. 1020 of the book of John says this. And many of them said, he hath a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him? Again, talking about Jesus. They not only said he had a devil, they said he was crazy. So... Yeah, the conclusion is, and there's many other scriptures in the Gospels as well that indicate this. You know, you go to Matthew 12. Um, I'm thinking of other places. Yeah, they said Jesus had a devil. That is just the craziest thing in the world. So we need to pray. We need to love God. We need to love truth, the word of truth, the spirit of truth, because it's easy to be deceived. The Antichrist is coming, and he will be basically a devil in flesh, or many people think he's the devil in flesh, Satan in flesh. And so he's going to come, and people are going to be deceived. So if people can be so deluded that they think God in flesh, Jesus Christ, the fullness of the Godhead in a person had a devil, they'll be deceived by thinking a devil is worthy of worship. And how many idols and false Christ and false messiahs are out there? People actually think that. Live for Jesus. Love truth. Talk with you later. God bless.